No, I'm just believing in my journey and I'm believing in where I'm at right now and believing that that's exactly where I'm supposed to be. And the one thing that I have not done is want to compare our journey to others, see if we're adequate. That's really all it is. The, the, the bridge between customer discovery and actually selling customers, right? Like, why not just sell these customers? Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, August 18th, 2024. And we have 74 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Um, man, uh, I'm a little bit late. I know this is a going thing, right? It's 8.28 in the morning. Uh, but I have to get myself together. I got a lot on my mind right now. I got a lot on my mind right now. On Instagram, you know, we're keeping the theme going as far as the countdown, just like over here. If you are, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Same tag, I am Hassan El Sadiq. Um, some comments, some comments I want to talk about. And I also want to talk about something else. Uh, look, this morning, I was going through my camera roll, going through my favorites, and man, what I can say is, yo, it's been a crazy, crazy journey, man. It's been a journey up until this point, being 44 years old. It's been highs, it's been middle, it's been lows, it's been super, super lows. Um, and the one thing that I have not done up until this point as a 44 year old man, I have not made a million dollars. Um, what I believe is everything gradually up until this point, in my 40s, I will make a million dollars. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, pretty sure of it that in my 40s, between now as 44 and 49, I'll make a million dollars, probably more. Um, but if, if, if it was a checklist, like of life, I think, you know, maybe travel more or something like that. But if it was a checklist for a founder, or for an innovator, for a person that's a builder and a creator, I, like all, everything is checked off, you know? Everything is checked off. When I started this entrepreneurial journey, I, just, I wanted to create things. I wanted to take things that were in my mind and I wanted to make those tangible things. I've done that over and over and over again, right? Uh, being a father, like, you know, one of the greatest accomplishments for me and wanting to have, you know, two sons move, you know, in the near future. That's the, that, that's the accomplishments that I yearn. Like, the next thing is like, yo, I want to make sure my mother is straight so she can do whatever she wants for the rest of her life, right? Like these are these are my, you know, my personal goals and you know things that I want to accomplish. Make sure my my, my daughters are are straight. Um, but up until this point, I say like the only thing I really want you like if, like check off is make a million dollars or you know, we want more than a million dollars, but that's where the threshold starts, right? Uh, so when I talk to people in the comments, like like one, one guy, like man, and thank you for anybody that's, you know, that's following this journey, like I really appreciate it. However, one thing is I only make content that I want to make, okay? If I, like I live right now, you know, most of my time right now is in Cartagena. If I really wanted to blow up a YouTube channel, it would be so easy for me to story tell because all these guys love girls. I can do that so easily and blow up a YouTube channel. Like if I really, really wanted to, however, it's something more that, it's something that I'm doing. And I know you guys don't get it. I know you guys don't get it. 
and that's fine. People don't get all dreams. People didn't get the Container Store. People didn't get Swag University. People didn't get a lot of things that I've done. People didn't get sneaker tips. Like, all of these things that I've done, I promise you, people did not get them when I said I was going to do them. So as I'm documenting this journey, you probably don't get it. But you will eventually and say, oh damn, it could take five years, right? Before somebody says, oh, I see what he was doing, but by then, I'm out of here, right? You know what I'm saying? Like we, some, we somewhere in another hemisphere, like accomplished everything that we set out to accomplish and it's all there, right? So like I get, business is boring. Let me say that, business is boring. I sit in this office 10 hours a day and most of it, you guys would never even be interested in. So I clip up 20 minutes of the day of me filming to document these things because now I can look at videos and say, oh, okay, that day I did this, that, 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 and that. I can run it down and actually show it. So I'm showing bit, bits and pieces just to, you know, to have, to make it digestible for somebody to watch 20 minutes of it, okay? Um, but I know you guys don't get it. You guys don't understand. If you did, you would be doing the exact same thing. You would be documenting your life. Cause it's a game changer. I'm like, like I promise you. <laughs> like I promise you. You'll see. Like I said, it could take five, it could take 10 years. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm not doing it for like anybody. I'm doing it because I want to do it. And I want to capture the journey. I have a an ulterior motive of why I'm doing it, okay? So, again, I appreciate anybody that watches. 10 views, five views, 20 views, 100 views. Put 100 people in this room, that's a lot of people. Put 10 people in this room, that's a lot of people to me. Like, like money is not the motive for my YouTube channel, honestly. Would it be nice? Sure. But no, I can story tell much better than most people on YouTube that are doing videos in foreign countries like that, you know, that's enticing to young men that want to see girls. I can do that shit in my sleep. If I wanted to, like if, if I really wanted to, I can start another channel and do character handed content with girls and blow that motherfucker up in three months, 90 days. That shit trash. I'm cementing what I'm doing right now. And this is the version of me that I'm giving to the world. I'm not giving a dating version to the world. That's, that's no, not doing that. Um, top of the week, as you can see, I'm charged up. <laughs> I'm, char I'm charged up uh, because look, I watched something, the, the Deion Sanders brothers, right? And they were talking about people hating on them. And they're talking about like people on the internet saying, hey, you guys are only there because of your dad. And they're like, yeah, okay, so like, and you're only where you're at because of your dad. And it's so true. Like all of this struggle, all of this stuff that I don't have to go through is because of my dad, right? You know what I'm saying? So. I am working overtime so my children won't have, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they, people can say that to them. Hey, you only where you are because of your dad. Like, absolutely, absolutely. Giving them the opportunity to do whatever they wanna do and whatever they wanna pursue in the world. That's what I'm trying to accomplish, all right? Like when I have my sons, man, pay, the, way, the, pay, the, the way is already paid, right? for them so they can go out and do what they want to do in the world. Stop thinking that this life lasts forever, for real. If you wanna do something, go out, go out and do it. And do it with a purpose, like real talk. But that was something that was on, that's been on my mind or whatever. Because yeah, like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's so easy to say. 
Like, yeah, like you were, yeah, you are here because of your dad, and it's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. So, if you're a father, man, you don't want the, you don't want the backside of that where somebody says, "Yo, your kids is where you are because of you." No, you want your kids to be straight because of you. So, I'm going to get on with my day like you guys. Have a great week and chase your goals, chase your dreams, chase purpose, chase impact. Uh, I'm on this one life thing like, man, man, we have such an opportunity. We have such an opportunity. Have gratitude, give it your all, you know? Give it your all. Man, let's be great. to uh, talking and trying to find um, people to talk to about it as well. So cost, you know, potential customers for this exploration process. We know what's going on or we know we know anybody's doing travel stuff. They have the opportunity to spend a lot of money. They have the opportunity to build community if they want to and the, op the opportunity to, to, to uh, capture the journey. Okay, so what? All Dreams offers something more or something different, better, faster, cheaper. Go on. Yeah, all, all, all in one place instead of like more, more organization. I mean, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely inconvenient to have to do things in three different, four different platforms for sure. When they are absolutely doing these things already. They're already in some way funding. They're already in some way building community. They're already in some way capturing and storing. This is already happening. The larger key is to do it the right way. Yeah, to, to, the larger key is to, to do it to do it the right way. Get all of the data then Cause he, one word that he keeps saying is like, when you go to this, I, so this whole thing is for you to be ready to pitch investors. That's what this whole thing is for. So he keeps saying like, when you, you do these things, so you're bulletproof when you go to talk to investors. Right, right. Right. So that's mm -hmm. right. So that's right, right. So that's one thing he that's that's one thing that he that he does. He he always says he says, well, you know, we we just, you just want you want, we want to make this so you bulletproof. It is five twenty and. Uh, I'm finished for today. I have to go out and, and eat. Um, today in my uh, my launch New York meeting, we did more customer discovery things. 
Customer discovery is something that I don't I don't quite understand uh, customer discovery. Uh, and the reason why is because like when you're talking to customers and customer discovery is supposed to be like an unbiased conversation where you're talking to a potential customer about your you're indirectly talking about your product but you're not really talking about your product you're really talking about their pain points and asking them generalized questions without swaying them on your side that you actually have the solution to their problem it's a weird thing so it's it's a weird thing and that's what I asked my, my entrepreneur residents. Well, why why don't what's the, the the bridge between customer discovery and actually selling customers, right? Like, why not just sell these customers on your product on your solution if you already know that they have that problem and have that pain point, but then you really don't know if they have that pain point. So this is a process that like, like literally I'm going through and I'm like, man, like I don't really understand it that much, but I'm learning and I'm willing to not know and actually kind of like, I have to like, like unlearn and relearn this complete process of building a business. Uh, so that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. I'm like, man, like it, it doesn't make much sense it makes sense to a certain point, but it doesn't make sense when you believe you have this solution and you're like, hey, I can just sell my solution to my customers. And that's especially when I'm engulfed in the industry, right? When I know for a fact that people that our amateur athletes and parents of these athletes have this problem. So I'm going on this exploration and you guys are gonna come with me as I do customer discovery and gain the data because we're building a startup. So that's what we're going to do. But meanwhile, I'm going to get ready to, uh, to get out of here and go grab something to eat. And um, yeah, finish my night. Probably come back and edit this video. Another beautiful day on my walk. Today, I'm in Manga and um, I want to talk about something real fast. I want to talk about comparison. You know, because we always want to compare our journey to others or we always want to gauge our journey to other people to see if we're adequate. That's really all it is, you know. And I think when you do that, you kind of destroy in your mind how your journey is depicted, basically. When I say that, I give you an example. So for all dreams, right? I have not been able to raise like VC money from outside venture capitalists, outside angel investors that I don't know and it's this it's this this white girl that's on the internet she's pretty popular on youtube and also uh instagram and she has a company and she has a co-founder and her company raised over a million dollars 
And I would say that company is not anywhere as it's not anywhere that has more potential than all dreams and it's not like they had like a bunch of sales it's not like they had a bunch of data it's not like they had a bunch of traction but they raised a million dollars you know as we right now all dreams we scrape by to get our platform built and scrape by like bootstrapping everything i can compare and say yo damn like we should have a billion dollars in vc for one i'm a black guy and everyone knows that black people don't get vc money like white people get vc money not to mention I'm a black man, whereas she's a white woman. Now, what if I just compare myself to her and just really got down in the, on myself, almost to the point where I'm like, man, this will never work. And, you know, just basically questioning myself and questioning my journey because I don't have what she has, which is funding, which all businesses need. Funny thing about it, this same girl, they got, she got a million in funding and then she got the opportunity to pivot and change her business completely, right? Got the opportunity to say, hey, this isn't working, so I'm going to change my business completely. You're able to do that when you have a million dollars in seed capital, pre-seed capital, right? But again, if I compare my journey to hers, it takes away from my own personal journey. And you never want to do that because your personal journey is always isolated to you. Right, You never want to look at someone and say, let me gauge how good I am off of them or let me gauge what I'm supposed to have off of them. You have to just run your own race. You have to do your own thing, continue to believe in yourself, continue to believe in your journey that you are on the right path. Do not compare. They say comparison, uh, comparing is like the thief of joy or something like that, right? That's what they say. I'll go further than that. Just don't compare, <laughs> you know, because your journey is isolated to you. And I've said this over and over again is the most unique thing that you have is your personal experience and personal journey that's isolated to you that's what makes you unique even talking about like in sports right say so, yo I used to do this a lot okay I'm a 6'6 guard I'm left handed I can do this this and that why am I not getting that shot that this guy has I'm just as good as this guy or I'm better than this guy. Um, so why am I not getting that look from that big school? And maybe it's not meant for you to get that look from that big school. Maybe if you go to that school, maybe your whole career derails. Maybe you don't get what you thought you were going to get from being at that big school. So you just have to believe in your journey, man. Like, like that's what I'm trying to say. Just believe in your journey. Like, man, what I know that we should have a million dollars in funding to run all dreams because it's going to be a hundred million dollar company. 
what, what do I do? Do I just continue to compare and say, hey, Jay Hoovy got 5 million and they didn't have much traction or this person got 1 million or this person got a half a million or these people made tech stars and my company is better. No, I'm just believing in my journey and I'm believing in where I'm at right now and believing that that's exactly where I'm supposed to be. Tonight, I'm having dinner at this place right here in Manga. Super nice. Got the boats and everything out here. One day we'll have the All Dreams yacht parked over here as well. But yeah, this is a beautiful little place that I love to go to. Um, nice little night vibe. It's still hot out here. But um, I'm gonna have some dinner and then uh, call it the night. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.